Oh hi, I didn't see you there. My name is Bliss Foster and today we're going to be talking about finding your personal style and shopping for designer clothes on a budget. Those sound like two really different things, but they actually have a lot to do with one another with the way that I personally think about them. You should be so stoked about this episode because for me personally at least, there were years where I was kind of toiling around in this mentality of like, oh, I don't really know what my personal style is. What's my personal style? How do I find my personal style? Does this shirt match with my personal style? And I was also saying I don't have enough money for designer clothes. Well, we are going to face fist both of those problems at the exact same time here as we sit and we mellow out and we learn to let life happen. This is all connected. These are not jokes. This is gonna be so much fun. I'm looking at my notes here and I have big sections underlined titled Kill Your Darlings and Abandon Your Vibes. We're gonna have a lot of fun today. I wanted to make this video for a couple of different reasons. One, it's for just like people who are passionate fans of fashion. They're really passionate about clothes but they don't really know what direction or how to be like that. Like it's really easy if you're a fan of baseball, you just pick a team or you just watch all the games and you just kind of, it's like there's a, there's a way to do that that's pretty clearly outlined for you. Whereas being a fan of fashion, it's like, well, I don't know, go shopping. Yeah, but I don't have any more money. Oh, that's a damn shame. When in fact, there's actually just a whole lot more to it than just going out and spending money. So that's a relief, right? I talk to a lot of people online. I've talked to at least a thousand of you over Instagram direct message, which if you haven't done that, then you should definitely do that because I'm actually very approachable on Instagram. You should just literally like say the word hi and I'll, I'll start a conversation with you. You should do that. But in talking to so many different people about clothes and being into fashion online, I find that a lot of people are not they're not doing it wrong, it's just that they seem to be making this process a lot harder on themselves than maybe it could be. So, the grand disclaimer, this is just my process. This is what works for me personally. This is not the only way of doing- Thank you, Bliss, we get it. Let's do the theme song so we can start the episode. <laughs> Hey guys, if you like this content, you should definitely support me on Patreon. The lowest tier is just $3 a month and that will allow you to get into the private Discord server that I have started for all of the patrons. It's a super cool place, lots of cool fashion people hanging out. Also, we'd be supporting the channel. Right now we can only do one episode a week, but I'd like to increase that frequency twofold, really. But um, I can't really do that if I don't have more time freed up, so. Support me on Patreon, links in the description, thanks. Building your personal style. In the era of content, that phrase, personal style, has been a gold mine. How many clicks, how many ad dollars have revolved around this idea of you must build a personal style? Well, I'm gonna offer a very extreme stance on this topic. The only way to build a personal style that you are happy with is to release yourself from the idea of a personal style. Let it go. And I'm serious too, think about this. Let's start with trends. What are trends? The idea of trends has existed basically as long as human beings have worn clothes, and there's arguably a more intricate and detailed and complex system of trends that existed in, in say, the 18th century than there is now. But for our purposes today, trends are essentially a way for the industry to help people who have money to spend on clothes just quickly get something that will look okay on them. Trends are a way for you to prove to others that you got the clothes you're wearing in the last 12 months. And a personal style is a solution. It's a rubric system for somebody who needs a sharp, purposeful look for the office or someone who's posting on male fashion advice on Reddit who's saying, my body is changing, I don't fit into any of my clothes anymore. These things, these trends, these personal style ideas, these are for people who are not really into the art form of clothing design. And that's okay, that's fine. There's honestly nothing wrong with that. I don't give a shit about cars and I had to buy a car in the last year and I literally was just kind of like, please, please someone just tell me what the car is that I should buy so I can buy it and stop shopping for a car. That better be my hoodie. I think it is my hoodie. Is it my hoodie? This is a tote bag. I did not order a tote bag. 
<laughs> yeah, it is. Cool tote bag. Nice. So, this is gonna be fucking epic. Yeah. That's 66C Inc. They're like a one of one DIY brand that's based out of uh, Seattle, I think. That's getting steamed and worn as soon as this episode is done. Also, definitely not a hoodie, but I ordered that like a month and a half ago, so your boy forgets. Okay, so yeah, I was talking about clothes, personal style, and then how I don't like buying a car. I understand how there are a lot of people in the world who are like that with clothes. They're like, I just, I want to look good. I just don't want to spend like every waking moment thinking about clothes. I just need a solution. Whereas if you're watching this channel, I strongly suspect that you do spend a lot of your discretionary time thinking about clothes and looking at clothes and reading about clothes and watching informative videos about clothes. And so I, I just don't feel like the idea of trends are for any of you guys. And I feel like the idea of personal style probably doesn't apply to as many of you people as content online would have us believe. So you don't need a trend guide to tell you how to dress. Instead, you are going to surf. Let me explain. Instead, you should align yourself with designer's vision. Release yourself from this idea of, I have to have geo baskets or I'm going to die. I will never be happy with my outfits unless I have a Saint Laurent biker jacket. I am going to throw a GDM effing fit if I do not get eight chrome hearts rings on my hands right now. Instead, I'll give you some examples for me. Okay, so I love Final Home a lot. And I recently bought a Final Home jacket. Really about eight months ago I bought a Final Home jacket. But I bought that jacket after years of admiring Final Home's whole brand and vibe and aesthetic and everything. This whole thing of a Japanese clothing brand having this very flippant mindset about nuclear disaster is very brooding and foreboding and kind of like terrifying. And the idea of surviving a disaster and having everything that you own destroyed and realizing that the coat that you have on might be the coat that you die in. Final home. Everything about the brand told this really detailed narrative. And there are definitely some grail level coats that cost a lot of money secondhand to buy from Final Home. But what I did was I said, I just love Final Home's aesthetic. If I can find something online that is within my budget, that is by Final Home, I wanna have it. So I got this, and I love it. Um, this is a, uh, this is the corn coat. So it has an inner lining that is uh, corn. <laughs> and the sleeves open to kind of reveal the corn lining, and it actually is a pretty warm jacket. There's lots of like hardware details. There's these little things that makes it where airflow can easily move through the coat. The hood is really big and epic and it has sort of that feel that Final Home stuff has of just kind of like, no, you're in it to win it. You're surviving in this thing. But even more beautiful is the fact that there is a patch on the chest that says some things and inside has corn seeds so that if you find an area with soil that hasn't been destroyed by the nuclear disaster, you can start growing food. Is that cool or what? Even people who are super into Final Home probably don't recognize that coat off the top of their heads. It's not a hyped coat, but it is a really beautiful piece of art. I would have never found that if I was just super amped about the idea of this one particular final home coat and I was just saving up my dollars until I could finally afford this ridiculously expensive coat. Another example is this undercover coat. We have a uh, Trump Lowell detail on it, so it's just a regular cotton jacket, but printed on the cotton jacket is this cardigan. So you can see that these are real buttons and these are Trump Lowell buttons. And this to me spoke so closely to the things that I love about Undercover. This idea of idolizing rock stars and this whole like punk aesthetic thing and this very DIY like, oh, we can't afford to make sweaters. We don't know how to make sweaters. So we'll, we'll print a sweater on a coat the way that we print t-shirts with pictures. And there's a lot of other things about it that I'm not sure I can articulate here off the top of my head but I, I really love this jacket a lot. And this is 
Probably not an undercover piece that you recognize, but this is like one of my favorite pieces of clothing that I own. Then there are definitely a lot of grails that are made by undercover, and I can't really afford any of them. So instead of opening a new credit card in order to afford them, or just pining over them and hating my own wardrobe, I kept my eyes open and I eventually found an undercover piece that I thought represented the things that I love about undercover, and I got that piece. And friends, do these two jackets seem like they would fit into anyone's idea of a personal style? These are very different coats. But I love them both and I wear them both all the time. Release yourself from the idea of building an aesthetic and just allow yourself to be a fan of clothing design. I promise you will be so much happier with the results. Your style will come. Stop trying to force it. But Bliss, how do I do this? I don't have a lot of money. Yeah, me neither, that sucks, right? <laughs> if you have less than $300 to spend per month on clothing, like me, then you should probably be doing mostly secondhand designer stuff. And I am telling you, no matter how much of a deal you think you are getting on some Zara jacket, jeans at J. Crew mall brand stuff, I promise that you could, for the same amount of money, have been like, oh damn, these Issey Miyake pants are only 47 bucks. Basically, you need to be using Grailed, eBay, Rakuten, Yahoo Japan, The Real Real, Depop, and whatever random forums you happen to be a part of, like the buy sell trade area of my Discord server. And just set up feeds or alerts on those places and check them. Grailed has a few hundred brands that are listed in their brands section and I've highlighted like maybe 60 of them and I check my feed on there all the time and I come across crazy deals and I buy those deals. So like a lot of things in life, your personal style is something that will more just come in some kind of natural capacity to you rather than you just deciding where it's going to go and then driving down that road as hard as you possibly can. It just doesn't work like that. So release yourself, friends, and be happy. And thank you for joining me this week. You should go follow me on YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter, and you should sign up for my Patreon so that you can join this fucking sweet Discord server. Seriously, we have like 80 people in there and it's just like fashion friends party 24 seven. It's really sick. Also, I found out this week that two kids who are dating now met through the comment section of the channel. So that's pretty sick. I am so amped up about you. Goodbye. Ow, ow. These clip-ons are too tight.